This afternoon, I'm fishing the Hawkesbury River, New South Wales. This is Wayne Mulloway and it's now Wayne. You are Mr. Mulloway, New South Wales. Do you think you deserve that title? Because I believe you are an absolute gun. Mate, I do my best and I'm going to show you why they call me Mulloway. That's what I like to hear. Mr. Mulloway, wait to see the chrome fish this dude produces. To Mulloway and beyond, Buzz Lightyear! Well, if you want to catch Mulloway, it is all about fresh bait. These baits were all caught today. Beautiful yellow tail scad or yakas, some magnificent little arrow squid, and this guy here, a tailor. That tailor is over a kilo, we caught it earlier, we've butterflied it, and believe it or not, that tailor is going on for bait very soon. Stay tuned. Okay, what's really important when you, you fish for dew is a really good setup for your rod holders. What we've got here, we've got three rod holders, different angles, one there, one down the middle, and one out wide. We don't want to get tangles. The last thing we want to do is be bringing up a bait all tangled. And I like the rods to be about 30 degrees to the water, so when the fish do buckle, they don't feel anything until that hook is set. That's a touch, that's a touch for sure. Lighter rod. Yep, there's something on there. Wainus! Snoozers and losers, mate! Wait, that's my rod. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you went up the front to get yet another picnic, mate. So I just thought I'd do the right thing and catch a fish for you. There's a bit of weight there, eh? Oh, there's oh, some... Goody. Mate, oh, how's those head shakes? Look at that. Under the boat. Oh. What have we got here, Paul? That, that is a solid fish on like here, I'll give you the tip. I just have to up the drag a bit. Oh, how's the bend in this rod? How's the power? Oh, come on. It's a solid fish. Oh, it's a dewy, look at that. That is a magnificent fish on the little rod, tiny little bit of squid. How cool is that look for a that fish? Look at placement. Wowee. Mate, you're in charge, Wayno. You all right? Yeah, mate. Good work. Nice dew fish. How's that for a cracker, mate? I know they're not particularly a nocturnal species, but how good do they look in the dark with oh. the lights showing those oh. silver crown up scales? Beautiful, beautiful fish, Paul. Now, I assume at this sort of size, you're talking a fish probably three, four, five years of age? Yeah, three, four years, definitely. And would you assume that this is a spawner? Maybe, he might be just starting to spawn now. Yep. So yeah, he's about that size, 70 centimetres. Sensational, so really important a fish like this goes back in the river, because that's an adolescent fish. It's the future of the fishery. This is just so cool, the purple hues, those beautiful spots down the lateral line. Dewfish, you can catch them anywhere from one metre water to 200 metres of water. They go into the fresh, in the estuaries, on the reefs, in the ocean. They're special fish, aren't they? They are beautiful. We'll put this back before we head back to the houseboat and have some tucker. Tell your mum, I want to go on a date with her. I promise if I catch her, I'll let her go. Oh, let it, lots of tide there. Look at that dorsal fin sitting erect. Those beautiful spots, come on, mate. Oh, and away it goes, look at that. That is a sensational thing to see, a magnificent mulloway swimming free. I love catching them, but that rocks my boat. Oh, yep, 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 yep. yep. Oh, that nearly ripped it out of the rod holder, mate. Oh, this is a good fish, Paul. That's solid. Now, I reckon this fish has been playing with some of our baits, eh? For the last five minutes. Yeah, we've literally been fishing for about five minutes. Now, Wayne. That's the first baits in the water, Paul. Hands up who slept in this morning. <laughs> Sorry, oh, mate. Oh, oh, that looks like it's going to go too. And we literally got here a little bit late, but we weren't too worried because the tide was still looking pretty good. And uh, first rack of rods, mate. First rack of rods, Paul. It just went. I literally struggled to get out of the rod holder. And this is such a cool thing to come and do. Mulloway fishing on the Hawkes River, New South Wales. It is just so epic. And every time, every time I've driven over a piece of water like this, I've dreamt that I might one day catch a Mulloway. 
And this is a solid fish, mate. Lots of head shakes there. Yes. Look, this is a fish of a lifetime for. You must take your time. Yep. And if you don't panic, really the only thing that can go wrong is the hook can fall out. Really, definitely. Isn't it? definitely. So it's just about taking your time and enjoy the moment. For me, we were just discussing for us, the greatest moment of our life, apart from sharing time with our family, of course, is when we're standing up with a bent rod in our hand, isn't it? Definitely, Paul. It is the highlight of our life, so why rush it? Just enjoy the moment, feel every head shake, take your time, because if you take your time and don't panic, there's a much greater chance you're gonna catch a beautiful fish. Now this thing, it's got a bit of weight to it. Yeah, another nice fish, Paul. Bloody oath. Solid weight, oh! I just love these things. Now, do you think that's the head shake or the tail? That's that's his head shaking. Yep. And obviously, get, trying to get his head back down. Yep. With his tail whip. Mate, there's there's my shock tippet. So I actually ran about eight foot of shock tippet on this. So yep. we've got mono down to our leader. I'm just going to touch that drag back a touch. There's still some big head shakes here. Look at the bend in that rod. This is such a lovely bit of gear. Shimano Stella 8000 salt water. And I've got it on a. Shimano PW DNA Nano Pelagic Series rod. I love these rods. And this is Finn's 40G braid, 65 pound. Fantastic because you can fish smaller reels, but still get plenty of capacity. Now, where's this fish? I've got another line wrapped around him. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that for a beautiful fish. Oh, that big tail just going thump, thump, thump. There's my easy rig, mate. Look at that fish. Oh, yes. How good is it when your fish hardly fits in the net, Wayne Oss? That's nice, Paulie. <laughs> look at the colours. Oh, look at the colours in that early morning light. Check that fish out. Look at that. That is a magnificent New South Wales Mulloway. Now, the time I've spent chasing these fish, mate, that is, I'll say it's gold, but seriously, that is a chromed up bar of silver. Gonna get him out of the net. I'm gonna show you this incredible fish. I love when a plan comes together. You thought my heart was pumping when I had my coffee early this morning. Well, it's pumping now. <laughs> Wayne Oss. Seriously, I get excited about fish, but this thing makes me just, oh, I'm tingling all over. How's the colors in these fish, Wayne? Mate, they're beautiful looking fish. I don't think there's a prettier fish in a river, Paul. People know you as Mulloway. People have known you for years, don't even know your real name. Yeah, unfortunately. Why do Mulloway float your boat? Tell me, tell me now. Because look at them, they're a beautiful fish pool. How can you not love catching these fish? It's amazing that these guys terrorise Brim, Taylor, all the small fish in the river. Apart from bull sharks, these are probably the apex predator of these systems, aren't they? Well, I caught a, um, a big Jew with a 40 centimetre flatty in it. That is unbelievable. Well, if you live in Melbourne, the Yarra River. If you live in Perth, the Swan. If you live in New South Wales, all these estuary systems, they hold massive Mulloway like this. Get out and give it a go because seriously, one of the greatest things you will ever, ever do is catch a mighty Jew.